Wouldn't that just be great? Hearing God himself say he's proud of you. Say you're taking a good path. We don't have that today. Instead, what we have is a family. A very large and caring family that support us along the way and help us know we're taking the right path. And so Jesus continued on that same path from that baptism. He gathered more and more followers and spread the good word. He revealed that he was the savior that we were all waiting for. And yet he was denied. And he knew that he'd be denied. He knew everything he was going to go through in order for us to be saved. And he did it willingly. His journey reflected his destination. He lived the life that was sacrifice after sacrifice, miracle after miracle, so that in the end, he could make the greatest sacrifice and perform the greatest miracle, dying for our sins and giving us forgiveness. I think we can follow that sort of rule today. We're all headed for an amazing destination. We're all headed for heaven, paradise, a perfection. Now, we can't live a perfect life. We're human. That's just how it is. But we can't live a good life. We can live a life where our journey reflects our destination. We can live a life where the choices we make are good and moral. We can live a life where we reflect all that which we want to be in the end.